pipeline are you going to graduate basic training and then you're going to go to the uh, career enlisted aviators fundamentals course in San Antonio it's about a two week long course, you do that, you go to the altitude chamber, yada, 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 I pass that class. And then next you'll go to the basic load master course. Basic load master course is about six weeks long. You'll also do that at San Antonio, learn how to uh, do load master stuff. So uh, at the beginning of your class, you'll get like a, a list of like bases or airframes that you might wanna go to, you list like one through 13. Um, after that, you will get your base and then you'll find out what airframe you're going to. For slick C-130s, your tech school is in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's about six months long because you'll do your air land and then airdrop portion. For C-5s, uh, your school will be in San Antonio as well and it'll be about two months long where you just do airland stuff on the c5s and then c17s you'll go to airland school at altus air force base in oklahoma you'll do that for about three four ish months uh, after which you'll go to your base so each of the different bases has like a different mission set for what they do um, so for instance if you go to charleston more than likely you will go back to airdrop school which is another uh, about two months long and then you can do another upgrade class for a different mission set at charleston um, you'll also go to airdrop school if you're stationed in hawaii alaska and washington as well i don't know about any like the guard or reserve bases if they do any airdrop but i think one of the guard bases in alaska does airdrop so airdrop school is about Two months long, obviously depending on weather and whatnot. Um, it's a it's a pretty basic course. They teach you how to drop different things, and after that, you will go back to your uh, base, and then you'll get more in-depth training there, and actually learn how to drop the different things that you are going to airdrop at your base. Uh, the life of a loadmaster is interesting. So because I've been in upgrade training for the last like six months, I haven't gone on any missions. And that's not to say I haven't done any traveling. I've got to travel around the United States quite a bit. But um, if you're like a new loadmaster, you'll get to your base and you'll do, you have to do all like your CBTs and all the regular Air Force stuff, go to FTAC and whatnot. But after that, that's when you'll go on your one or two locals and then you'll get what we call a dollar ride. Dollar ride is essentially your first mission overseas and it can be anywhere from a two or three day long mission to you could go on two week long mission. Um, and that's where you'll actually get to learn how to do your job and you'll be with an instructor and then you'll be with someone else. So uh, it's not just gonna be you all by yourself. After your dollar ride, you'll be considered uh, mission capable and then you'll be able to start flying by yourself essentially. Um, it's a pretty awesome, pretty grown up program we have at our base. Um, you're expected to do a lot and there's a lot of pressure put on you, but I mean, you go through almost a year of training before you even go on your first mission. So you'll be set. To answer some of the questions that I get asked often, if you are good, healthy, and stay on top of all your stuff, I mean, you'll, you could be on the road more than you're at home. And if that's something you want to do, it's absolutely possible. If you have a family, that's also very easy to work around. You can go on a mission once a month, come back, you know, hang out with your family, do that. And then uh, next thing you know, you could go on another mission. So it's, it's not, it's not like we're busy, busy, busy all the time. You're as busy as you make yourself or uh, you, you fly as much as you make yourself available. So the more you're available, the more you're fly, you'll fly. And the more that you don't make yourself available, the less you'll fly. But um, that's kind of on you and your leadership as well. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask. And I will try and get uh, an answer to you as quick as possible. Thank you.